In the name of the Father, the Son of Father, the Holy the Son Spirit. Of the Spirit. Amen. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the heart of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just, and always to rejoice in his consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory, Glory to you. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Lord. Seal in my lips, stay in my heart. Some Sadducees, those who deny that there is a resurrection, came forward and put this question to Jesus, saying, Teacher, Moses wrote for us, if someone's brother dies leaving a wife but no child, his brother must take the wife and raise up descendants for his brother. Now there were seven brothers. The first married a woman but died childless. Then the second and the third married her. Likewise, all the seven died childless. Finally, the woman also died. Now at the resurrection, whose wife will he, that woman be? For all seven had been married to her. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and remarry. But those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels. And they are the children of God because they are the ones who will rise. That the dead will rise even Moses made known in the passage about the bush when he called Lord the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And he is not God of the dead, but of the living. For to him all are alive. Some, some of the scribes said in reply, Teacher, you have answered well. And they no longer dared to ask him anything. The gospel, all the praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Lord Christ. Christ. <clears throat> Tita Lynn, <clears throat> the three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, in today's gospel, the Sadducees tried to trap Jesus with the question that equates eternal life with our earthly life. But Jesus replied, they can no longer die, for they are like the angels. They are God's children, since they are children of the resurrection. Number two, Jesus asserts our God is not a God of the dead, but God of the living. There is great hope and freedom mm -hmm. in the God of the living. Number three, mm -hmm. in the eternal life, the blind will see. The lime will walk, and we will be free from all that binds us in our earthly lives. Allow the promise of paradise, heavenly bliss, and an ending life with an all-loving God be our source of true hope in our daily living. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. So, <clears throat> in the great gospel, I have watched one of the homilies no, online. Um, the the title the the focus, um, his focus was about um heaven. So our focus, our focus in life is is heaven, like eternal life. So when we focus ourselves towards the eternal life, it will change us. Kasi we will be we will be mabait. We will do all these uh, good things yeah. and, and and follow the words of God. No, kasi our focus natin is towards eternal life everlasting life and then and then um um the homily also asking us that when we pray when when we want to go to heaven do we also pray for our loved ones to go to to heaven also so you so well of course definitely we pray for that especially our family members and our loved ones no kasi um i remember i remember one of our homilies um in the past no na 
it is our responsibility. All all those people we know, especially within our family, we have big responsibility, no, to to um to guide to guide them towards heaven, towards eternity. Kaya uh, sometimes uh, once in a while we worry about na what about a um, friend, what about a loved one, what about a family member who 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 we know that going astray. How can we how can we um. Uh, convince that loved one to not uh, towards towards holiness na na ang ang faith ang faith nila mismo is nagadwindle ba yun ang challenge natin but but uh, we have also a responsibility to the soul of to the souls of those <clears throat> of our loved ones our family members now we take care of them and make sure that they don't go astray but um, that that is challenging because they have their own free will. So what we do is just uh, keep on praying, keep on praying for them, and um, and and also um, uh, when we go to heaven, when we go to in heaven, in heaven we don't know each other anymore because our focus will be God. Hindi na ano. Um, that's what they said. I I don't know because nobody nobody went to heaven and came back. And and let us know what's going on up there. Pero that's what they said. Na na in heaven we we don't know each other. We don't care about each other anymore because our focus is about God, the presence of God. So let's continue praying. Um, our goal is towards heaven. Let's continue praying for our loved ones to be with us also going to heaven towards holiness during this um um journey journey in life nothing amen amen please go ahead tita course it's it's about love and it's about love as we know it here on earth and love as um, it's supposed to be experienced in eternity. So uh, because on earth, our consciousness is very, very limited. So um, our ability to love, really love, cannot really transcend many boundaries away from us. That's why we feel distrust, we feel envy, we feel uh, jealousy, and we tend to be uh, exclusive and choosy about the people that we love. That's the earthly uh, concept that's the earthly experience of love and that is to be expected because we have a human body and the human body puts limits to what we can do to what we can feel but uh, in heaven that's what I read okay uh, in heaven we deal in eternity and the boundaries, the limits that were set on our ability to love here on earth disappear. And so that is true. We won't know our parents anymore. We won't know, in quotation marks, we won't know, we won't know our parents, we won't know our spouses, our brothers, our si sisters, because we love everybody the same the love that we will have, the love that we will have in heaven will be um, all inclusive. So there's no more distrust. There's no more hatred. There's no more jealousy. There's no more envy. There are no boundaries as to who you are going to love because our ability to love is now eternal. And that's the gift of being in heaven. That you can you can share love with everyone. 
at the same level. Kaya hindi na nag, hindi mo na kailangan kilalanin ang parents mo dahil lahat-lahat ng sila equal ang pagmamahal mo. Nasusurpass lang ng pagmamahal mo sa Panginoon. That's that's what I understood from what I read. Uh, I, I sometimes I go across things like this and I think I think that is true. Na kaya siguro sinasabi na we won't know these people anymore kasi nga naman patay-pantay na. There's no need to make distinctions as nanay ko ba ito? Kapatid ko ba ito? So, uh, in fact, they said that if we are blessed enough to be able to, to, to love even here on earth, you know, to, to love and like yung mga saints na when they pray, they, they almost have this uh, experience na talagang yung beatific na sinasabi nila, parang taste of heaven daw yun. Na, na nawawalan yung mga boundaries na ganun. So, but of course, it, it needs a lot of goodness, I think, to be able to do that. No, yung talagang magiging malinis siguro talaga ang soul mo para makaprepare ka ng ganong klaseng ganong klaseng pagmamahal. That's my sharing for tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. Beautific vision. Um, when we all die, no, uh, we become spirits like angels and then ang focus natin niya is beatific vision and that's the source of eternal happiness. Uh, I, I have been thinking, sabi ko, what, what, what was that? Sabi ko na ang term na vision of God ba? Na, um, ang focus natin, beatific vision. Thank you, course. Thank you very yeah. much. Uh, record. Please yes. go ahead, Tito Helen. For me, I'd like always to remember the words from Father Danny saying, uh, Lord, please make me to become a saint today. Because yeah. if, uh, if, we, if I always remember, uh, put it in my mind every morning, so all the hardships, all the things that I do inside the house, taking care of my mother and also... Um, my grandchildren sometimes there. I always sing it say, uh, this uh, sacrifice, uh, earthly sacrifices is uh, really not enough for me to become a saint. Kasi <laughs> um, uh, uh, Jesus uh, experienced much pain. So if I do yeah. something and I offer it to God with all simplicity, uh, I think... Um, I always pray that uh, this is one way maybe to become a saint. <laughs> I, I really like the word uh, that uh, uh, saying that, uh, please, Lord, help me to become a saint today because you will forget uh, all these earthly material things if we focus our mind. If I focus my mind to become a saint, <clears throat> my ordinary deeds uh, here in the house and uh, outside also. So thank you for listening also to your uh, thoughts, Tita and uh, Tita Kors. And uh, uh, I'd like to put it in my heart that uh, heaven is our ultimate goal in this world. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Helen. It's our goal. It's our main, I know. It's our main goal, because we belong to heaven. We are citizens of heaven. So our goal here in life is to go back to where we belong. So let's go back to where we belong, which is in heaven. So it sometimes it's challenging, especially na my free will tayo, and God really, our our Lord really respects our free will, no. But let's keep on praying for each other and pray for 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 other people, no, to 
you know, to and guide them as much as possible, no? guide them towards also their periods of purification and holiness journey journeys in life towards our holiness and it's so it's a very powerful um, powerful um prayer no um surrendering tita helen that's surrendering like yeah. lord today make me a saint amen, amen. Not necessarily, you, know, you have to have sacrifice you have to have pains tribulations little things in life but Yes. Little things in life. Oh. Just like taking care of your mom. Yun, sacrifice na yun. Yes. Uh -huh. Just offer to him. Big sacrifice yun eh. But you do it, ob 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 uh, ano yan? Loving obedience. Yes. Mm -hmm. Loving obedience. Ang tawag dyan. Yes. And um, your mom is uh, very, very blessed to have a um, daughter like you. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah single parent among the eight. So, uh, it's God's plan talaga na I'll be with my my nanay and tatay. <coughs> hindi, right. hindi it's kanila. true. Orchestrated by God talaga ang life natin eh. If we really oh. open our eyes ba? Everything. Everything. And, and if we look back, everything is orchestrated by God. Ang life natin. So, you became a, a single parent, no? Na, na, na widow ka? Yes. So, because my you have a mission in life, pala. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have a mission in life. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh. And you are one of the few, siguro dito na may nanay pa. Parang no, parang no. I I yes. lost my mom. She was she was only seventy two when she died. Ang mom ko, way back nineteen ninety five yata or ninety six. So. So, mga, mga blessings yan, mga blessings and different missions. But we realize, no, in, eventually we realize na may mga mission tayo. And sometimes, no, it's still malabo, no? Sometimes na we really don't know. But in, in our stage in life ngayon, no, um, we will ask, what now? Lord, you give me life until 70-something na tayo. So, what now? What do I do? Please guide me what to do. I want to do more. Yes, amen. 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 Thank you, Tita Helen. Oh, thank you also. Well, let's look at how the uh, how those people who became saints live their lives here on it. We emulate, we follow. Read the lives of the saints you will know you will learn how to live your life here on earth not easy no? all of the pains sacrifices but the reward is eternal Sadducees in the gospel, no, they denied there is a resurrection. They don't believe that, that life, that there is life after death. It is said now, they believe that uh, life beyond here on earth is just a continuation, something else continuation of earthly life. That's their belief. But Jesus said, no. It's different. We all have our responsibilities. Married or unmarried. Now, for a married person, the responsibility is much greater. Because you are one flesh, remember. One flesh. You cannot go there alone. You have to bring with you. So, while still here on earth, repair what is broken. We only prepare what is broken. 
Praying, yes, but you have to do something. You have to repair. So each one of us, no, we live different lives. Each one of us are our own responsibilities. Our children. Especially those wayward children. Really need to pray hard. Because somehow we will also be responsible for them. They may have their own free will, but you have to strive hard, pray hard. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tito Mars. So, Let's keep on praying for each other. Let's um, help one another and keep, uh, keep on praying for our loved ones and uh, others um, because we have uh, this responsibility really. Um, help them towards their journey, towards their holiness and eventually to heaven because that's where we belong. Amen. 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 So for the closing prayer, Tita Grace, do you have something? Sige, okay. Okay. Prayer for protection. I pray that the power of blood of Christ surround and protect every person in this room. Then I pray that Mary, the mother of God, Saint Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, all the angels and saints, and all the courts of heaven, intercede with us. I pray that no evil force be able to harm anyone in this room or anywhere else as a result of, as a result of, of as a, sorry, yeah, di ko na makita, as able to harm anyone in this room as a result of, of demons being, being cast out through the, our prayers of deliverance. I ask this humbly in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 And all together, please. Glory be to the Father. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever, the world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye.